Oh, good morning, everyone. I have just woken up, and you know, you guys convinced me I uh, that the show Mad- Madoka Magica has uh, has taken interest in me, and yeah, this is the first thing I woke up this morning is, hey, I want to watch this show, and I'm going to give this show a shot, because... You know, there's a lot of good things that you guys been saying about this show. So yeah, I'm going to jump straight into it. The first episode one, and I'm also going to watch episode two. So episode one is, I first met her in a dream or something. Alright, let's jump into it. Not going to lie. My first impression of this show seems, it looks pretty creepy. The black and white background and the repeating patterns just, and the echoing sound is just, just so creepy. Hey, yo, is that, is that the final boss in the sky already? Are they showing us the final boss in episode one? Jesus, such destruction. Oh my goodness. I am thinking that we're going to get a flashback to like how everything happened because this is hella crazy right now like everything is destroyed and actually I don't even know that I it doesn't seem like the main character has any powers yet I don't think Okay. All right. It's I've, it, it's it's usually a dream. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. A magical girl's dream. Makes sense. Yeah. Is her dad the only male? Is her dad the only male in the show? Wow, they have a giant, their house is huge. Right. Okay, so so this must be like a super, super rich family, judging from how awesome their bathroom looks like. My goodness, I want to live in their house. I honestly can't imagine this girl is is gonna end up fighting some monsters because her life is perfect right now. I mean, then again, I guess that's how all Magic Girls shows starts off as. I can't believe I'm watching a Magic Girl, girl show right now. Uh. They have a electronical picture frame. Oh my goodness. What does she what does she work at? Jeez. She has so much money. maybe the dad is the one that's uh with a lot of money. Maybe that's why he's staying home. Or or maybe the mom's the one that's with a lot of money and that's why he's staying home. I don't know, man. Their house is awesome. Dang, how big is their house? They even have like those beech trees outside. Jesus.
you know, watching a group of girls, I don't know, middle school girls, high school girls, is, is, is really cringe. Like, I'm not talking bad about the show, but like, this is kind of cringe for me. So they are using the uh, overly used uh, transfer student thing, which I guess is fine. It's a, uh, it makes sense. She meets the girl from her dreams and um, she becomes a magical girl. I don't know, I've been noticing, like, like, uh, I don't know, like, what, exactly what era they're in, but they don't seem to be in, like, a modern era. I've been seeing, like, um, everything is, like, so high-tech, and everything, like, seems to be, like, futuristic, like, the, even the, the board, like, I think they use, like, an electric, uh, like, an electric pan to do that or something, because, uh, it seems like they, this is taking place in, like, a futuristic era. I'm not sure. If you guys could tell me in the comment, that would be awesome. <laughs> I would feel so uncomfortable if my classroom was just a glass, or like an encased glass. Like... Just just watching somebody else walk by in the hallway and looking at you like learning it's just creepy i I don't like the way they design the schools. I'm honestly kind of getting annoyed by the the pink hair girls um how would I say this? Her, her shyness and her hesitantness is just, I don't feel like that fits her. Like, it doesn't go well with her. It's, it's, it's kind of like annoying. I feel like she's annoying that black hair girl at this point. I don't know, but I feel like she's warning her that if she becomes a magical girl, she's gonna end up losing everything. I I I think she I think she like knows about the future too. I just think those are my theories. I don't know, everything seems so peaceful in this show. It just, I, I have a bad feeling about it. Like when a show's too peaceful, I, I just get this bad feeling. Did she just really... Did she just really break a rule and walk through the, the the closed off area for maintenance? Come on, like does nobody in anime follow those signs anymore? Cause they're closed off for a reason, right? You you shouldn't mess with those places. Then nothing should go well if you do. Oh my goodness, this, this music is creeping me out. And it also looks like I stop at a moment where she she's about to get hit. Alright, plot twist. <laughs> oh, this looks really weird. Hey yo, isn't this supposed to be like a um a magic girl girl show? Cause, 
because why is everything so creepy? My goodness, I can't take this creepiness. Okay, at least the transformation is not overly dramatic like Sailor Moon's in. I say that's, uh, that's, I don't know, a bit of a downgrade, an upgrade, I don't know, I prefer the Sailor Moon one. This... That's a lot of guns. Okay, so I have just finished episode one of the Madoka Magica series, and I have to say, this is surprisingly, uh, how do I put this, how do I put this, I'm getting this like super, super like dark, eerie vibes from like almost every single scene. There's always like little details here, here and there. Like, it's just uh, all dark, all creepy looking, and it, it just offsets the mood, and it's creepy. But nonetheless, let's jump into the next episode, episode two. Okay, so it seems like the first thing we have here is uh oh let's fix that okay so it seems like the first thing we have here is that the qb thingy the white the white fluffy cat is like the contract thing so if you make a contract with it you become a magical girl and it seems like every magical girl has to go through this guy thing i don't know Hopefully this show is not as creepy as I'm suspecting. Okay, it seems like um becoming a magic girl is not always a good thing. Because, uh, I don't know, like, you, you get a wish, any wish... And you are forced into a contract to fight witches. So if he says any wish, it, it just sounds so suspicious. It sounds like these witches are like really, really powerful or something. And to exchange any wish in order for them to fight against witches, that that that, that just sounds um almost kind of suspicious in my mind. Oh my goodness, this show even talks about suicide. Okay. I'm kinda I'm kinda starting to doubt this magical uh girl show. It's uh it's it's not following the script, man. It's not following the script and I'm not used to this. This is a, uh, I don't know. Okay, um, about earlier when I said um, I can't take this clicheness of the high of the high school girls or middle school girls, I, I am taking that back. I actually much prefer these scenes over any other scenes right now because everything just seems so dark and despair like, and 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 I hope they show more of these scenes.
I don't know, but this blue hair girl seems like she she she's very wise because she she's not taking this lightly like uh like how any normal people would react to. She's taking this actually pretty seriously. She 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 knows that she doesn't have anything she'd wish for to trade for a life for. Like she she knows this is something that some uh, some people would die die for to to get and she's just uh I, I don't know I I really like this blue hair girl her 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 personality her wiseness is just relatable I guess Could the person that's walking up that old place be the pink hair girl's uh mother? Cause I feel like um her figure looks like her. That would not be a good thing. I feel like her guns are very in insufficient because each of those guns only have one bullet and I just feel like that maybe maybe she can choose a different gun like you know a, a submachine gun that 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 would be nice because uh you know continuous fire and it's more powerful I don't know it's just a suggestion because I feel like her one shot gun is just not gonna cut it So I have a theory. So seems like using the witch's seed, it can absorb the black things out of the their their soul gem. And he and he and here's what I think: since the soul gem could become black, and they need the witch's seed to take it out. So what if they don't take the black stuff out? Would they eventually be end up becoming witches? Because it, it seems like. Like the every time we use the soul gem, it gets darker and darker. Hmm. Oh, I don't know, man. <sighs>
Alright, anime fans, so I have just finished episode 2, and it seems like they are delving into very, very dark topics. And I was not expecting that from a, you know, what you call it, a magical girl show. And it seems like this show, I should not take it lightly as I expected. I thought this show would be a nice show to sit down and just watch and enjoy, you know, just like a relaxing show, but it seems like, (laughs) it seems like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have much of relaxation watching this show, because this show is just keeping me, it's, it's, how do I put this, it's, it's constantly putting me in a dark, dark mood, and it's just, Oh, wow. I feel like magic girl, girl shows should just have more happiness to it. And this show is not showing much of that. And I, I can clearly tell because every scene is just... It, it just like, just, just the art. It's just... Um, there's always some, like, darkness surrounding them. And it's just... It's a lot more serious than I expect this anime to be. So I need to, like... I, I was going into this show, like, expecting it to be, like, a funny, easy, lighthearted show. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change my um, perspective of watching this show from now on. I, I need to be more prepared to watch this show. Because, dang, this show is is kind of getting dark. I don't know, man. This is not your typical everyday uh, magical girl show and I, I, I kind of like this uh, new take on the magical girl it's just uh, yeah I, I probably shouldn't watch this show for uh, happiness and entertainment easy goingness I, 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 I yeah I, I definitely need to reevaluate my thinking of the show Alright, thank you anime fans for watching my uh, reaction of uh, Madoka Magica all the way through. Uh, So, yeah, and I don't know. Next week, maybe maybe a few more weeks, I don't know. I'm going to watch episodes 3 or 4 whenever I feel like it. And, yeah, I hope you guys uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual. Dislike if you don't like it, and... Yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next reaction or whichever next video you watch. See ya.